somebody once said to me, uh, why did you become a communist? And I said, well, you're born a communist, you don't become one. My name is Joe Guy. My parents had both uh, grown up during the Depression of the 1930s and the Second World War, been through the Second World War, which gave them a particular outlook. Um, my dad was active and uh, played a small part in the union movement and was very, they were both very staunch Labour supporters. When I was about 15, I used to go with my father and my brother uh, to the anti-Vietnam War protests. And um, I suppose through that, I don't remember the exact turn of events, but I got tied up with uh, the Socialist Unity Party. Um, when I was 18, I went to China with the National Youth Council. Don't know if they still exist, but they organised tours to various places, and one of them was China. The thing you could say about China, and which was very primitive at that stage, 75, was that people were interested in ideas. Um, they were interested in political life. Uh, they were interested in education, and they were, it appeared to me, far more sophisticated than uh, the general uh, life in New Zealand, you know. It just reinforced my view that uh, general discussion in New Zealand was quite limited. I think the uh, student loan, when that started, that took a lot of... Um, that robbed society of people's connection with it, students' connection with it, because with enormous loans, you become focused on paying those loans back. You don't become focused on paying society back to what they've given you. You know, young people um, got to get out there, uh, you know, and then they've got to be uh, sceptical of the status quo. If you're not sceptical of what you see around you, or how society is, it's never going to change. It's up to you young people now to take hold of the whole society and shake it up a bit and think about changing things. If you don't, nobody will do it.